In the Epistemic Games Group, we build brain games. Games that teach players how to solve real problems the way real people do. In this video, some of our researchers talk about why epistemic games are challenging and fun, which is exactly what we think education should be. What young people in a, in a country like the United States need today is the ability to think about problems, real problems, complex problems in innovative and creative ways. Um, to deal with issues that don't have standardized answers. Um, the good news is that computer games are one way to do that. To learn to think like doctors and lawyers and architects and engineers and urban planners and science journalists and a host of other people who solve problems that don't have standardized answers. Um, we call the games that do this epistemic games because these are fundamentally games about ways of thinking. I work on urban science, which is a project uh, in which middle school students work as urban planners to redesign Madison. They used uh, software that incorporates GIS mapping software, uh, as well as stakeholder ideas uh, and their and stakeholder input. What we're designing here is not just a set of technologies um, that we're going to send out into the world. What we're designing is experiences, learning experiences for kids. I'm trying to focus on the businesses that don't have as many job opportunities. Our goal is to move crime down, put parking up, and keep total sales the same. We're interested in creating a kind of professional practice simulator. So we try to, using this portal, um, create this email system, there's an electronic notebook that the players can use to store the information that they're gathering as they go through the, the game activities. The system is designed to try and provide them with this coherent and uh, seamless experience. Alright, That's okay. right. so first is the stuff that you actually did. The things you actually did. And then the middle. second is like what you would actually recommend for them to do. I'm interested in the mentoring roles in epistemic games. The success of an epistemic game it is contingent on its believing that they are professionals in training. And did you increase or decrease the number of people on State Street? What's uh, jobs Okay. Yeah, because you're adding really high density housing, right? They, they had neat ideas about um, how to use green space and how to uh, preserve wetlands near the lakes, but then to increase density in other parts of the city so that people could still enjoy Madison, but it wouldn't harm the environment. What if we built another overture center? We could like, divide it up, like this park could be like right here. That could be like entertainment, this could be retail, and that could be restaurants. The final project led up to the players presenting their plans to the mayor of Madison. And he came and they presented their plans and he grilled them with questions, um, just like he would grill any planner. It's a 15,000 square foot building, historic building. It's been abandoned for years, city owns it. And uh, it's abandoned, we're trying to figure out what to do with it. What do you guys think we should do with it? Putting you on the spot. <laughs> Just like real planners. He asked them extremely hard questions that the players answered beautifully. And he came up to me afterwards and was just really impressed with the poise and the knowledge that the players had. It's kind of like a robot to me. Like pigtails and a face and then a body. And then like on wheels. Oh, look at that design. Digital Zoo is an epistemic game in which players uh, learn how to be engineers and they use uh, an online software called Soda Constructor and our fourth and fifth graders picked up the facility with that tool uh, very quickly, more quickly than we were expecting even, and that to me raises some interesting possibilities for the access that, that younger kids might have to more advanced science and math concepts. Of course it's possible that there might be some other way to train kids to think in innovative and creative ways, to take our, an education system that was designed to prepare kids for life in an industrial America and change it into an education system for the digital age, for a knowledge economy, for a world where innovative and creative thinking are at a premium. Epistemic games appear to be one good way to do that. If we decide that we want to leave things the way they are, we certainly can do that. I just think that's not a, a future that's particularly appealing um, or one that ultimately uh, we want given that we are in a position to be thinking more creatively about uh, how we help kids prepare for a changing world. It went, it went incredibly well. Most of the parents said that their kids were more confident, um, 
they had seen some changes in them, which was exciting. I just kind of like to think about like what you could do, like like how to solve the problem. It's fun. <laughs> Remember, epistemic games are brain games. Games that teach the kind of thinking kids need in a changing world.